the Island Mall uh, to do a Highland Games and um, this is my first one and I'm looking forward to it. I'll be going through most of the series uh, in the Highland Games all over the uh, Scottish Highlands and um, it's my first year as a professional um, so it's really a trial year for me and I'm looking forward to meeting people like Grant Anderson, Hamish Davison, uh, Bill Anderson, the great all-time old man. <laughs> I'm a young man so um, probably uh, in the next couple of years I'll learn most of the traditional events and give him a headache but I think in the first year he'll be beating me fair and square. Well the motivation is obviously uh, after doing 20 years of amateur athletics, 15 years in the national team, been all around the world, um, three Olympic Games, three Commonwealth Games, 67 internationals, I've got to start looking for other motivation as you say and uh, the Highland Games is the obvious place to go because uh, this is where all the traditional events like shot put started. I've never been here and obviously there's a professional circuit there and um, I'm looking forward to um, competing in, in a traditional um, happy-go-lucky atmosphere rather than the, the, uh, the strict training regime of the Olympic Games movement. I could have chose Tiddlywinks, couldn't I? You know, with manhole covers. But, no, I wanted this new challenge, and I looked around and I said, professional games. Because Arthur Rowe before me, um, who was European champion, uh, one of the greatest shoppers ever lived, took on and beat the best in the Highland Games. Bill Anderson is a legend. Uh, to me, he's one of the greatest athletes. In his own chosen field, he's the best. But then the same is, he's super strong. I mean, he's one of these natural guys. I think he is the, the man to beat in the future because he's mastered the techniques. And then you've got Grant Anderson. Uh, Grant Anderson is the next Commonwealth weightlifter. So he's really transferring his power into the Highland Games. So I think he will with Hamish be the guy to beat in the next two or three years. Bill can't go on forever. I think he, he's got to realise this fact. He's 43 now, so he's getting on. Uh, unless he proves me wrong and comes out again and again and again, which they do. But with Bill and Grant and Hamish there, you've got three champions in their own right.
hypochondriac. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm complaining of backache all the time, and I don't know what he's got. Problem he's got, he's got no problems at all. <laughs> <laughs> he's got knee problems and head problems. You know, and <laughs> but I, I think Bill's right. You know, I mean. <clears throat> I find it uh, very difficult to throw some of the Highland events anyway, and uh, I'm learning this year. Next year I do a lot better, but as I go on, I tend to get better as, it, as um, each meeting comes on. Um, I think Bill must use it as a training session every meeting, you know, because I don't think he'd do a lot of training there. The more games you do, the better you get, the more stamina you seem to have. I find that out anyway. Because uh, once did eight games on the trot, and I found out that after the eighth game I was better than I was at the one that was done. So I don't really think it's a stamina problem. The first ten years of my working life I was working on the farm. But that didn't correspond well with my games activities, so I had to change my job and go into the construction, which, well, you're paid by the hours, so you're allowed off any time you like. Well, I was always interested in the heavy events. I always thought of these big, strong men when I was a young boy, you know, throwing weights about. And then there was hammers and weights about the farm, so I just learned to throw them. The way things have been over the last oh, 25 years, I had an easy spell in the late 50s and early 60s, and then uh, got a lot of hard competition from Arthur Rowe, and then I had a, quite an easy spell again. And then things are harder now with uh, Hamish Davison and Grant Anderson, and now Jeff Capes has come up, so things are getting really tough. I'm enjoying it more now than I maybe was 20 years ago. I don't know why that is, but I think I'm enjoying it more. I don't think there's so much strain now. There was quite a bit of strain on earlier on in this uh, Scotland-England thing when Arthur Rowe was in the go. And uh, I hope that that doesn't materialise again. Well, I have very small hands, because I'm not really a small person anyway. I'm <laughs> oh, not a very small person. <laughs> if I hadn't trained on the weights, so I'd still be a sort of 11 stone weakling. It's all been developed over the years. <laughs> What weight were you before you started? Uh, about the 10 stone mark, that's that, 15. That was at birth. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have never been at 10 stone, lad. You're just far too broad for that. You must have been... Uh, must be with, uh, must be 12 to 13 would be your normal weight. Definitely not 10. No, maybe not No, 10. no. <laughs> well, I was drink 20 pints of beer now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I think the Highland Games get into your blood. Bye -bye. It's part of your life. I started Highland Games uh, about the age of 17 or 18. I can't remember. I was shot putting in school before then. Well, I'm a hill farmer. I uh, keep a stock of black-faced ewes and... Also, I've a herd of uh, white mink and pastels, about 1,500 animals in the farm at the moment. Everything's done at home now. Uh, I just step out the back door, I'm into the concrete circle, shot putting. Then I go into the barn, I'm doing weights. Everything. I've got all my own facilities. Way over the bar in the caber, the, the height's in, and the hammer as well, the height's an advantage. That's if you're able to throw properly, which I'm not. <laughs> I only found out yesterday I was holding the bloody thing all wrong. I was watching these guys, I said, well, that's not right, because I hold my hands like this, and I thought, well, they've been doing it for 20 years or so, and it must be bloody right. So I changed my grip straight away and threw less. <laughs> Oh, um, and then I got my birds, and you know, I'm as competitive in that as ever. 
you know, I'll get to a show, and if I'm showing, if I don't win, I want to know why I didn't win, you know. way behind it, lock on before you change. Get that change of speed. As soon as your right foot hits, change it round. Okay, foot knee hip, left foot down, put over it before you change it. Uh, I'm, I'm a great believer that if you've done it, Good girl, fine. if you've actually taken part and thrown and felt the event, you should be a, a reasonable coach. I find that they are me. They are an extension of what I used to be. And I think within the next two or three years, Susan King will be British champion. Okay? Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. Just your fingers. You're lifting your spine because you're jumping into it. Get that force going through the shot. Get nasty. Push. Oh, they weren't too bad just now. I've seen them far worse. In fact, after a few games, you've seen them. We've seen the spot here, here, again, four or five different places. It's not too bad. Not too bad just now. Is that on the other hand as well? No, no, no. He's got the worst calendar, hasn't he? Uh, Grant's worst for the suit. Mm. Why is that, Grant? I do more training. No, no, I'll tell you what it is. He's used to office work and his hands are soft, you see. He throws away the tears him up. He's not used to hard work, is That's he? That's exactly what uh, it is. I'm a town planner, basically. A sedentary occupation, so it leaves all your physical energy anyway for training. I have a fairly unusual diet which I picked up from the weightlifting body bodybuilding field, which is basically a liquid high protein diet, which consists of skim milk, uh, high protein like castellan, uh, eggs, things like that. Well, if I do miss having real food, I'll go and have some. Well, I used to be a, a weightlifter, Olympic-type weightlifter, but I got too injured to do it, to, to continue weightlifting. So I, I was just at a loose end when one of the Highland Games guys was looking for somebody to train with, so I started training with him. Discovered I was better than him, so I continued competing. pound hammers, the 28 pound weight for distance, the 56 pound weight over the bar, and of course the caber, which has nothing to do with distance, but is judged on straightness. If you think of it in terms of a clock, 12 o'clock would be the perfect throw. Good afternoon, the chairman of the Creef Highland Gathering. Could you please tell me the forecast for tomorrow for a Creef Perthshire? 
Three five I always thought was the 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 best games in Scotland, I think. They were the ones that everybody would have liked to win because it's called the Scottish Championships. Yes, it's been a happy hunting ground for me, but then uh, so has a few more places have been happy hunting grounds for me. first and you got into it. Uh, B, you, I want to win. I also don't want to take part. That tend not to get very worked up for these things anyway, which is probably a mistake. You know, I think you, you perform a lot better if you get a bit more aggressive. But I, I probably fall down a bit there. I think the records excite me more than anything. Also, uh, titles, the money helps. You wouldn't do it for no money, obviously. the 22 pound weight first with a new ground and Scottish record of 52 feet one and a half inches Jeff Capes second Hamish Davidson 48 feet five and a half third Grant Anderson 40 feet two and a oh, half oh you told me it was the Scottish oh, Championships yeah. nobody else told me until I got here <laughs> so I've got to try it today haven't I the ground record at the moment is 58 feet 1 and a half inches. The Scottish record is 61 feet 2 and a quarter inches. The second round of the 16 pound weight, Grant Anderson has had his second throw, and now we have Hamish Davidson coming up for his second. The world record, in fact, for this event was set by 
Hamish did two years ago when Hamish won the Scottish Championship at Crete. And the ground record in the previous event that Jeff Keeps broke in fact was Hamish Davidson's as well. <laughs> the 16 pound weight first with a new ground and Scottish record of 61 feet six and a half inches Jeff Capes yeah I oh, know it's bad bloody time second, Hamish Davidson, <laughs> I mean, 56 feet cracking about all year you know well getting used to the grass and everything it's it's not like concrete as I said initially you know it's just uh, Amazing how much it takes out of your actual force on the throw, you know. It's better than watching Dundee or Dundee United, isn't it? <laughs> Even on a bad day. <laughs> well, they always have a bad day, don't they, do you? I stopped seeing them when they sold Jimmy Gabriel in 1958. <laughs> All right, we'll just go. That's oh, a heavy weight, I don't like it. Uh, well, it's not the same weight I set the record up with, and uh, it's a doer sort of thing. I'll throw it a wee bit further, but... I don't like it, no. I think you've done enough to forget it. We'll see what Jeff does. That's all that's up there now, I think. I'm still leading uh, Grant there by a few feet. Oh, come on, I've got to concentrate. And next to go is the 20 pound weight for distances. Number 113, Jeff Keeps. Oh, no, 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 no! The result of event number 12 going to 28 pound weight for distance. First, Jet Cakes with a distance of 77 feet deep inches. Terrible throw. I was listening to what my mate said over there, you know. He said, faster, so I'm bloody waiting there faster, and I'll still fall back in. I don't like it at all. What's wrong? About 28. I've been throwing it badly, or else there's something far wrong with me. Uh, that's about 12 feet back in my record here. Uh, yes, throwing as I feared, not as I hoped. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah. know, well, the point is the point thing today, not winning, isn't it? I mean, it's position, position, position. Now I've got two events, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to come last in the hammer. Well, Bill will be the favourite to win the hammers, but uh, I'm always hopeful. Grant's probably throwing quite well, and Amish will be throwing quite well, I think, so it might be hard to say just how well it will go. Jeff's been home at home practicing all week with a hammer, too. So, that's my three best events over. So I'll have to try something on my lesser events. You're disappointed so far, yeah? Uh, ah, not too bad. <laughs> No, you think he's thinking about something else completely. Now, <laughs> <laughs> 
We're doing something wrong, I'm leaving. You know, he does two half hearted throws and then I just throw half hearted. And then he throws a real throw. I think so. I'm a few inches short, I would think. But even that's it. Well, Bill miscalculated there. Yeah. All that kidology. Oh. Oh. He ended up being oh. too lethargic. Oh, you turkey. <laughs> 99 11 and a half, you mean sod. I'll give you 99 11 if you don't. Oh, all right. <laughs> Second round for the light hammer. Pull it, pull it out this time, though. Oh, oh, no, terrible, hey. terrible. Just getting excited. And we always dream about throwing it into the crowd at the far end of the park, but it never seems to go that far. <laughs> That looks pretty fast. No, 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 beat it. No. I'll beat that. Yeah. No, things are not going too well, but uh, still two throws yet. Hope they get a good one yet, surely. So, hey, we should really go a bit again this time too. He's got a good throw. His last time, he seems to be trying a bit harder again. He's had a bit more gin. Some more gin. Yes, Ron, but it's true. It's a good show. Good throw. Good throw. Uh. Just coming up to show now, we have Jeff King. Three firsts, two fourths, which is average in the hammer. Um, it's just a question of doing your sum, isn't it? Yes, if, uh, if Jeff makes a mess of the weight over the bar and the cable, Grant can still win. Jeff gets cut with the prediction. You're sticking by your prediction. Well, I'm sticking I'm by injured, so there's a obvious a probability of him beating me anyway. And we're trying to get the crowd to duff Jeff up. <laughs> you're not. With the weight over the bar and the cable still stuck.
go into a very lucky days ago. One up there. One more. That makes me two points behind Jeff now, so all on the cable. Who knows? He might break his leg again, you know. Yeah. No, 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 second just now. Here and there, you know, I could have won, so <laughs> I'm not depressed. 
Yeah. So and then our chance was there on the cable again too. If I'd come in between them again, then that would have been it too, but it didn't happen. No? So it was straight for straight ahead. Oh no, I don't like it. Uh, I've been off farm, I didn't expect to do too well unless I pulled out something spectacular. And it didn't happen. Uh, in terms of finance, you know, I think uh, we're worth a lot more money. You know, That's a personal uh, thing anyway. Maybe that will change. I hope it will change because, uh, you know, like everybody, I think, enjoyed you know, the championship and the competition. And, uh, I normally stand and stay for the caber. I mean, this is it. That's the event. Not running around a track and cycling around a track. It's the caber and the Highland Games and the heavy events. Look for the throwers. The result of the Scottish Heavyweight Championship. First, Jet Games. And runner-up with 34 points, Grant Anderson.